Obtain a random relic. Vampire fairy. I guess. Take damage. Draw two cards with one card seems better than stuff we doesn't do anything. Uh, hopefully they'll choose different targets. They did, and everyone's keeping their armor, which is great. Okay. Deal 90 damage to a random enemy and put the card back in hand. Hmm. Not a great deal thing. It's not a good start. Draw three cards. Making this slide cost zero is not terrible. You come across an elaborate altar. In the center lies a bloodstained idol sculpted the figure of Lilith, the wing of greed. Worshiping the idol could give you incredible rewards, but where? Wishing on sin always has a price. Add remorses for gold. Oh, okay, so it's just an unplayable card for 180 gold. We get three of them. We're not going to a store, so I don't care. So we get a, a Jeweler Draugr, which would have been an upgrade option. At the beginning of each turn, all allies gain Perfect Strike. Well, we get two Perfect Strikes, we go full damage. Whenever an ally uses a skill, it gains one Endure for two seconds. It's got some damage, so that's the same as upgrading one of those idiots. This is kind of strange because um, these guys jump and we jump the lowest health, which is this guy. does 25 damage so well they're both gonna crit let's just give you the biggest crit am I missing a dude 
Wait, where's this dude? Karma. Swap. I think you have to take swap knowing that, um, what's it call it? Beholders are in the game. They teleport on the same tile and went missing? I think so. We can draft another guy, but I think upgrading is the way to go. Um, I'm going to stalker two. There's kind of an imbalance with that one. So you can either upgrade a guy, which means now we have um, a level uh, <coughs> 2 guy. Um, and in the next act, we can recruit a level 2 guy. Or we can recruit another level 1, and we'll have two level 1s. And in the next act, we can upgrade one of them, and we'll have a 2 and a 1. So you end up with either two twos or a 2 and a 1. Plus the level 2 guy is even stronger here than a second level 1 is. Um, every 5th card, draw every 5th card played, it's a good relic. So it seems like the, the strategy is you always upgrade your unit if you can instead of drafting a new one. Um, although drafting a new one means when you get an extra spot you could put an extra, but then you're putting extra weaker guys in instead of having stronger guys. It seems weird. Oh. Let's try this um, <clears throat> swap with a placed person and see if I get to replace. No, okay, so don't. Oh, look at that, and I can bring him back now. Get wrecked, idiot. I think that's just an oversight. Which I am okay with. Again is good. Stalker three. <clears throat> um, it was upgraded, which lowered the cost from one to zero. Um, it also, I think it depends on the distance, and it might be a percentage of health.
that dude just teleported to the wrong guy? Oh, that's a, that's a, no, they swapped. Okay, that makes sense. I don't like it, but that makes sense. By fearing me, he's giving these two guys perfect strike opportunity. It's great. We thought more distance was more damage, it might not be how that works now. It could just be a percentage. Um. When a non-ephemeral ally unit is about to receive the final blow, the celestial unit will take the hit instead. Disappears at the end of combat, loses itself. Okay, when a non ephemeral, so any. We don't have any ephemeral ally units. I guess the Ghost Warg might actually be ephemeral, maybe. Gives all ally and 50 shield. Right, let's do that. Yeah, that's weird, like, our dudes have disappeared because of a, you know, the way the thing reacts. Like, it's just straight up broken, right? I can't even see how much armor that guy has, so let's give it to him. Whenever an enemy unit dies, a random ally gains 25 damage for 3 seconds. That seems alright. Set a random ally's health to 1. Obtain a random relic. Okay. Oh, it had to be one of the actual dudes in the thing. That's still worth getting though. Pretty bad guy to have get that though. Wonder if it was random from roster instead of bench. Yeah, that could be something to check, right? I guess the question is too, can we afford to 
Um, keep him in. Like he just got some life steal. They're just dealing so much damage. But our boys aren't. Oh, he's attacking him. I don't know if those snakes did have decay or if they just weren't able to get it off in time, like, because that damage was huge. Edward, my dude, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Player checking out Haiti and Tactics. We've had one win. Going through again. It's interesting. What are you up to today, Headwound? Draw two cards. I think I like. I kind of want the invite. We've got two characters. We're going to get this one maxed up and we might get another one in. We probably just want someone else for fodder.
More chaos than something in seven days today. Did you successfully die in seven days? Or are you still playing like a noob? Every time I hear you're like, no, no, I didn't die. No, I didn't die. Hundred and one days, still haven't died yet. One day you'll work it out, man. The funny thing is here, you know, um else has the strike? You have the strike as well. Yeah, the one getting getting thrown takes more damage, doesn't it? Is that how that one works? Very DPS rushy um, team here. I don't. I don't know, Mumble. It seems a, it's got a little strangeness to it, but at zero cost, it does things. Definitely trying to keep an eye out for. Okay, we can jump to that guy. Um, the Beholder dude, because he sucks. I love how my two jumpers just go to the corner and annihilate someone. I don't like how my gargoyle's getting um, beaten up here. If he was tankier, this would be great. Why is he over there? Who's that? Oh, that's the Drogorogor, so we don't care about him too much. Got armor. Everyone's got armor. Everyone's got armor.
Achievement unlocked. Butcher. Next attack tool is triple damage. Yes. Yes. Especially when these guys have, like, lifesteal or something. Huh. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Let's... Where's our, where's our tank dude? Or our main dude? Let's swap you and you. Right? And now let's bring you back here. So you can get the guy up in the corner. But still, I don't like that. Oh, where's my dude that's, like, in the nether realm? Alright, you're gonna get the triple attack. Let's put a spell break on you. Um, uh... No, that's... Okay. Right, he has a one-shot. One of my drugs died. Took, took a lot of damage there. I chant all allies with 35 shield and we've got four allies. So I think that's the play. I want to upgrade. You. Relentless 2. Oh, that's nice. Extra shield. He had 50, less than 50 before the fight started and he's got 84 now, so he went up. That's good. Shield all sounds really nice. Also, a triple damage to from that guy seems really good. And look at this. This is this is the dude we gotta kill. Why did my dude not jump? Was he was he next to a, uh, a an individual enemy? Now that might do it. jump on now, but wow. I'm going to draw a card on the next card we play. That's, uh, that's why I only wanted to play two cards that turn. Man, I want to take the heal way out of this. 
<clears throat> Spice tea at the start of each energy, uh, each combat gain one energy. That's nice. Trade a random relic for another random one. <clears throat> no. no Life steal. All you need is a triple hit, dude. So much damage goes out, it's great. Drain? I don't think so. Alright, Lentless 3, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Lots of shield. I was really hoping to get mana there. Oh, seriously? So, we, we, can, we might be able to draw the cards. We need to be able to swap with that dude. There it is. We swap to this guy. No. I thought they were going to jump there anyway, there's nothing we can do about that.
Is that guy dead? Or do we jump? I don't know where my guys are. Yeah, choose one to give up for random or have a random one but you choose what you're going to get or something. Random for random is, that definitely falls into the poor game design space. Looks like we might actually be killing this beholder now. Maybe. Again, my dude jumped. We got a win, we tested it out. Beholder in the game is just, it's... Hey Walmart how you doing today? It's too strong. Like it's just in regular fights. And it's an auto battler, how is this? It, it's on par with every other uh, <clears throat> Slay the Spire, Monster Train wannabe that comes out. You know, these days. High quality art, sound, good um, uh, software. Just a combination of all the mechanics we've already seen with no inspiration. Like, as a player, it's uninspiring and unoriginal. And so everything they've tried to do to make it better just isn't. It needs a lot of balance. Um, and I don't know, something original. I think when the only original thing you have is that you've put all the pieces that you've taken inspiration from, from other games, that's not strong enough. Like, putting different mechanics together in ways we haven't seen is always a good thing, but you need to have something of your own. Nah, I'm not going to be bluesing for a while, Sarah. Um and this is fun and all until it's frustrating and I think for the majority of players will either same as Slay the Spy they'll either be like it's too hard RNG or yeah it's fun I don't plan on winning all that much I just throw the cards together and it's something to do while I play while I watch YouTube and occasionally I win a run and occasionally I lose and I don't care but for anyone that likes to play these games to try and learn and strategize you'll realize straight away where it falls short um I guess that's about it for that one.